Hi guys, so for this video I thought I'd do something a little bit more simple and wearable for everybody so I think I'll just do a simple smoky eye tutorial. This is for when I'm getting ready to go out and I've primed my fists and now I'm brushing through my brows with a spoolie and filling them in with the Brow Archery pencil by Sip and Glory. Same old, same old, you've seen me do this. through with the Essence Slash Princess. No? What? Ess Essence Clear Brow Mascara. I'm getting my mascaras mixed up there. Not being a dungeon. And priming the eyeballs so we can get straight in with the eyeshadow. This is NYX Proof It. And remember to set it down with some translucent powder or some skin coloured eyeshadow, whatever you've got to hand. And today we're using the Makeup Revolution Neutrals vs Neutrals palette and I'm mixing Neutral and Adapt together on my brush. Just smoosh and brush in one, brush in the other. They're both very cool neutral transition shades. If I keep looking at the camera by the way it's because I'm making sure I'm in focus. It's not because I'm admiring myself or anything. But yeah, here they are in the palette. They're the, just the two mark transition shades. I'm just buffing them through the crease and under the eye a bit. Next, I'm taking, which one is it? Custom. Yeah, I'm taking custom on a tapered crease brush just on the outer corners and underneath the eye a bit trying to make a bit of a wing shape but nothing too dramatic and then going back in with my blending brush and those transition shades just to buff that out a bit Now I'm taking a flat shade shadow brush to apply buff and suit. I'm mixing those two together all over the mobile lid and then I'm popping a bit of bias on the outer corner. I don't know who came up with these shadow names but they're so confusing. Now I'm taking an angled brush to put strong against my lash line. Who calls an eyeshadow strong? That's so ridiculous. Uh, to put that against my lash line and then getting the buffing brush to buff that out that buff that out nicely. Again when you're doing a smoky eye, I'm gonna say again, add a little bit of shadow, blend it out, add a bit more, blend that out until it looks the way you want it to look. Don't just go ham in with some dark shadows because it's gonna go everywhere and you're gonna look so stupid. any smoky eye you kind of want to do something to the lower water line whether that be line it with brown liner like I am doing or black liner or a nude liner or a white liner it just ties everything together makes it look a lot neater and then I'm curling my lashes and now I'm applying the essence lash princess to my top lashes the Barry M Feature Length Mascara to my bottom lashes. Now I'm applying foundation. I decided to do eyeshadow first just in case I got any fallout, but I didn't with these shadows, which is good. So I'm dotting the gosh foundation drops all over my face and blending that out with a damp Real Techniques complexion sponge. The collection Lasting Perfection Concealer underneath my eyes, around my nose and on my chin just to cover any darkness or redness I have. Again when you're doing a smoky eye it's really important to 
put a bit of concealer on, especially underneath your eyes because it, it just makes you look more tired. Now I'm setting that all in place with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder on a Real Techniques setting brush, just dusting that all where I put the concealer. And now I'm using a blush brush to apply Sleet's Pink Mint. Is it Pink Mint? Yeah. Which is my favourite blush ever. And once again, Seven Glory Solar Powder from the temples down to the jawline. It's making me look nice and bronzed. And down the neck as well. And along the chin. I, I, apparently I just wanted a lot to wear a lot of bronzer today. And then I'm using the Barium Illuminating Strobe Cream in on iced bronze on my tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, and on my cupid's bow. This highlight is so great. It's so blendable. It's so it's kind of subtle, but it's definitely still there. You know, you just whap it on, blend it out with your fingers. It's great. Now for my favourite liquid lipstick, which I'm buying just out of shop, uh, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, they're so creamy and just so moisturising and they smell like flumps. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. Now I'm setting that all in place with the Barry M Mix and Fix, Mist and Fix in the Dewy Spray. you enjoyed it uh, this is just a night out makeup so I was quite excited and I'll see you in my next video thanks guys <laughs>